नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम कुसुम प्रसाद एंड यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग अस ऑन ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन एंड दिस सेशन इज फॉर क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट्स एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड केमिस्ट्री एंड द चैप्टर द टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न इज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशन एंड टू टीच दिस सब्जेक्ट अवर टुडे इज एक्सपर्ट इज डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र कुमार अरोड़ा सर वेलकम सर सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत इस सत्र में नमस्कार नमस्ते मैम सर है एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री से एसपीसी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर से सो सर टेल सर विल टेल यू अबाउट दिस चैप्टर एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस सेशन वी वांट टू टेल यू अबाउट वेरियस मीडियम वेयर यू कैन सेंड योर फीडबैक so dear students and learners you can send your feedback on our email that is dth.class10 at the rate ciet.nic.in and you can also call on our number that is 8800440559 and uh, before uh, we start this session we want to share a very important message regarding g20 we are proud that india assumed the g20 presidency and will convene the g20 leader summit for the first time in the country in 2023 a nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism india g20 presidency would be a watershed moment in our history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or the world is one family so we move to our uh, session and this session is for class 10 students and uh, Uh, chapter is uh, chemistry chemical reaction and equations and uh, we move to our expert dr surendra kumar aroda sir sir let's begin this uh, session sir Thank yes you, sir good afternoon to all learners and viewers today in this session we will discuss about chemical reactions and equations now what is chemical reactions those chemical reaction is the transformation of chemical substances into another chemical substances is known as chemical reaction for example rusting of iron the setting of milk into curd digestion of food respiration etc are the example of chemical reactions in chemical reaction a new substance is formed which is completely different in properties from the original substance so in a chemical reaction a chemical change takes place the substance which take part in the chemical reactions are called reactants and the substance produced as a result of chemical reactions are known as products now chemical reaction example the burning of magnesium in air to form magnesium oxide is an example of chemical reaction that is magnesium when react with oxygen it forms magnesium oxide before burning in air the magnesium ribbon is cleaned by rubbing with sand paper this is done to remove the protective layer of basic magnesium carbonate from from the surface of magnesium ribbon now the substances which take part in chemical reaction in the above reactions are magnesium and oxygen so they are reactant new substances formed after a chemical reaction are called as product so magnesium oxide is an product now characteristic of chemical reaction the chemical reaction characteristic is evolution of gas the chemical reaction between zinc and dilute sulfuric acid is characterized by the evolution of hydrogen gas that is when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid it forms zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas is evolved the second characteristic of chemical reaction is change in color the chemical reaction between citric acid and purple color potassium permanganate solution is characterized by the change in color from 
purple to colorless. Now the chemical reaction between sulfur dioxide gas with acidified potassium dichromate solution is characterized by a change in color from orange to green. A change in the state of the substance. The combination, the combustion of reaction of candle wax is characterized by the change in state from solid to liquid and gas because the wax is a solid substance. Water formed by the combustion of wax is a liquid at room temperature, whereas the carbon dioxide produced by the combustion of wax is a gas. There are some chemical reaction which can show more than one characteristic. Another characteristic of chemical reaction is change in temperature. The chemical reaction between quick line to form slate line is characterized by a change in temperature. That is which is a rise in temperature. And chemical reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid is also characterized by the change in temperature, which is also the rise in temperature. Now, formation of precipitate. The chemical reaction between sulfuric acid and barium chloride solution is characterized by the formation of white precipitate of barium sulfate. These are the characteristic of chemical reaction. Now, what is chemical equation? Now, representation of chemical reaction using symbol and formula of the substance is called chemical equation. For example, A plus B react to give C plus D. In this equation, A and B are called reactant and C and D are called product. The arrow shows the direction of the chemical reaction. Condition if is there, if there is any condition, then it is generally written above the arrow. Example is when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, it gives water. The reaction can be represented by the following chemical equation that is, hydrogen plus oxygen leads to the formation of water. In the first equation, words are used and in the second equation symbols of the substance are used to write the chemical equation. For convenience, the symbol of the substance is used to represent the chemical equation. So, we can say a chemical equation is a way to represent the chemical reaction in a concise and informative way. Now, what are balanced and unbalanced chemical equation. Now, a balanced chemical equation has the number of atoms of each element equal on both sides. In this equation, zinc, hydrogen and sulfate are equal on both sides. So, it is a balanced chemical equation. According to the law of conservation of mass, mass can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be transferred from one form to another. Total mass of the element present in the reaction must be equal to the total mass of the element present in the product. If the number of the atoms of each element in the reactant is not equal to the number of the atom of each element present in the product, then the chemical reaction is called as unbalanced chemical equation. For example, when iron reacts with water, it forms ferric oxide and hydrogen. In this example, the number of atoms of elements are not equal on both sides of the reaction. For example, left hand side only contains one iron atom, where, whereas three iron atoms are present on right hand side. Now, balancing a chemical equation, that is, how we can balance a chemical equation. To balance the given or any chemical equation, following these steps are required. Write the number of atoms of element present in the reactant and in the product as shown in table here. Here we can see that number of atoms on the right hand side of iron is 1 and number of atoms on uh, right, uh, left, uh, right hand side of the atom uh, of iron is 3 and left hand side the number of atoms of iron is 1. Uh, and the number of atoms, hydrogen atom on left hand side is 2, while the number of 
atoms of hydrogen on the right hand side is also 2. The number of oxygen atoms on the left hand side of the equation is 1, while the number of atoms on the right hand side of the equation is 4. Now balance the atom which is maximum in, in number on either side of the chemical equation. That is iron plus water from ferric oxide and hydrogen. In this equation, the number of oxygen atom is maximum on right hand side. Now to balance the oxygen atom, one need to multiply the oxygen atom on the left hand side by 4 so that the oxygen atom on both the side becomes equal. So we can multiply water by 4 that is iron plus 4 H2 gives ferric oxide and hydrogen. Now the number of hydrogen atom becomes 8 on left hand side which is more than the right hand side. Now to balance it, one need to multiply the hydrogen on right hand side by 4. So we can multiply hydrogen by 4 on right hand side. After that the number of oxygen and hydrogen atom becomes equal on both sides. Now the number of iron is 1 on left hand side where it is 3 on right hand side. So to balance it multiply iron by 3 on left hand side. So that now the number of atoms of each element on left hand side are equal to the right hand side. Thus this equation becomes a balanced equation. After balancing we see that the number of iron atom on left hand side and right hand side are 3 that is both the sides the number of iron atoms are equal and the number of hydrogen atom on left hand side and right hand side are equal as such the number of oxygen atom on left hand side and right hand side are also equal so this is a balanced equation. Now to make equation more informative, writing the symbols of physical state of the substance in chemical equation. By writing the physical state of substance in a chemical equation becomes more informative. That is, if gaseous state is represented by small g within the bracket, liquid state is represented by symbol L within the bracket, solid state is written by the symbol S within the bracket, Aqueous solution is written by symbol AQ within the bracket. Writing the condition in which the reaction takes place, the condition is generally written above or below the arrow of the chemical equation. Thus, by writing the symbol and the physical state of the substance and condition under which the reaction takes place, a chemical equation can be made more informative. Now types of chemical reactions. There are combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, double displacement reaction, neutralization reaction and exothermic, endothermic reaction and oxidation reduction reactions which are in our course. Now what is combination reactions? The reactions in which two or more reactant combine to form one product are called as combination reaction. A general combination reaction may be represented by a chemical equation given here A plus B give AB. So AB, A plus B are the reactant and AB is formed as a product. That is the reactant combined to form product. These type of reactions are known as combination reaction. The example of combination reactions are when magnesium is burned in air magnesium oxide is formed. In this reaction, magnesium is combined with oxygen form magnesium oxide. When carbon is burned in oxygen, carbon dioxide form. In this reaction, carbon is combined with oxygen. So these are the example of combination reaction. Now what are decomposition reactions? Those reactions in which one compound decomposes into two or more compounds or elements 
are known as decomposition reaction. And this decomposition reaction is just as opposite of combination reaction. A general decomposition reaction may be represented as follows, that is AB on heating leads to the formation of A and B. When calcium carbonate is heated, it composes into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. When ferric hydroxide is heated, it decomposes into ferric oxide and water. These are the examples of decomposition reactions. Now, what is thermal decomposition? The decomposition of the substance on heating is known as thermal decomposition reaction. For example, if lead nitrate is heated, it leads to the formation of lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Now what is electrolytic decomposition? Those reactions in which compound decompose into simpler compound on passing electricity are, is known as electrolytic decomposition. This is also known as electrolysis. That is, when electricity is passed in water, it decomposes into hydrogen and oxygen. This is an example of electrolytic decomposition. And the third type is photolysis. Photolysis or photo decomposition reaction, those reactions in which compound decomposes because of sunlight are known as photolysis or photo decomposition reaction. When silver chloride is put in sunlight, it decomposes into silver metal and chlorine gas. It is an example of photolysis. So these are the three types of decomposition reactions. Thermal decomposition, electrolytic decomposition and photo decomposition reactions. Now displacement reaction. The reactions in which a more reactive element, displaces are less reactive element from a compound, is known as displacement reaction. These displacement reactions are also known as substitution reaction. Further, the substitution reaction or displacement reaction may be of two types, single displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. A general displacement reaction can be represented by using a chemical reaction a plus BC gives AC plus B. Displacement reaction takes place only when A is more reactive than B. If B is more reactive than A, then displacement reaction will not take place. So the example of single displacement reactions are, that is, when zinc reacts with hydrogen chloride, it leads to the formation of hydrogen gas and zinc chloride. That is, when zinc reacts with copper sulfate, it leads to the formation of zinc sulfate and copper metal. These are the examples of single displacement reaction. Now what is double displacement reaction? Those reactions in which ions are exchanged between two reactants forming new compounds are known as double displacement reaction. That is, for example, if AB reacts with CD, it leads to the formation of AC and BD. Examples of double displacement reactions are as follows. When the solution of barium chloride reacts with solution of sodium sulfate, leads to the formation of precipitate of barium sulfate along with sodium chloride. That is when sodium hydroxide, which is a base, reacts with hydrogen chloride, sodium chloride and water are formed. NMH when react with hydrochloric acid leads to the formation of sodium chloride and water. Double displacement reaction in which precipitate is formed is known as precipitation reaction. Neutralization reactions are also an example of double displacement reactions. Now what are precipitation reactions? The reaction in which precipitate is formed by mixing up of aqueous solution of two salt are known as precipitation reaction. That is, when silver nitrate reacts with sodium chloride leads to the formation of sodium nitrate and silver chloride. That is, precipitate of silver chloride is formed. These type of reactions are known as precipitation reaction. 
Now the neutralization reaction, the reaction in which an acid reacts with a base to form salt and water by an exchange of ion is called as neutralization reaction. Acid reacts with base to form salt and particle. These type of reactions are known as neutralization reactions. Now what are oxidation and reduction reactions? Oxidation, addition of oxygen or non-metallic element or removal of hydrogen or metallic element from a compound is known as oxidation. Elements or compounds in which oxygen or non-metallic element is added or hydrogen or metallic element is removed are called as to be oxidized. By reduction, addition of hydrogen or metallic element or removal of oxygen or non-metallic element from a compound is called reduction. Now the compound or element which undergoes reduction is called to be reduced. Oxidation and reduction takes place together. Now what are oxidizing aging? The substance which gives oxygen for oxidation is called as oxidizing agent. By the substance which remove hydrogen is also called as oxidizing agent. The substance which gives hydrogen for reduction is called as reducing AJ, where the substance which remove oxygen is also called as reducing AJ. Now the reaction in which oxidation and reduction takes place simultaneously is called as reduction reaction. When copper oxide is heated with hydrogen, when copper metal and hydrogen are formed in this reaction, you see that copper oxide is changing to copper. That is, oxygen is being removed from copper oxide. Yes, the sir. Oxygen is going on from a substance is called reduction. So, copper oxide is being reduced to copper. Thank you so now much, this. sir. Sir, it's time to wind up this session. Thank you so much, sir, for guiding and giving, uh, explaining this chapter to our students and learners. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. So, dear students and learners, before we wind up, uh, we want to share a very important message regarding G20. We are proud that India assumed G20 presidency and will convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country in 2023. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in our history as it seeks to play a very important role by finding pragmatic global solution for the well-being of all. And in doing so manifest the true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or the world is one family. और इसी के साथ हमारा आज का ये सत्र यहीं संपन्न होता है लेकिन आप कहीं मत जाइए अभी और भी बहुत सारे सेशंस हैं अब इससे कुछ ही देर में यानी तीन बजे हम फिर से हाजिर होंगे सोशल साइंस का सब्जेक्ट लेके जो कक्षा नौ के विद्यार्थियों के लिए है और टॉपिक है द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन पार्ट टू तो हमें दीजिए इजाज़त नमस्कार